Alright, um, what up YouTube, uh, did you see that intro in the beginning? Yep, go and check out his channel, and this same tutorial will be on it. But, um, you can watch it here if you want, but just go and check him out, and, uh, that is Music Arda. Um, he's, uh, being nice enough to let me upload on his channel, which I greatly appreciate that. So, yeah, go and check him out. So, um, in this tutorial, and I'm going to be showing you how to create, uh, like a starburst effect. So yeah, if you don't know what that is, just uh, continue watching and you'll see at the end. So you're first you're going to make um, uh, your uh, composition size, however size you want it. A resolution, whatever, 72. Make sure this is on transparent. If it's not, it's going to look all like dumb. I mean like, okay, so you're going to click OK. It's going to be how these little squares you can see. That's what I'm... Alright, so um, now you're going to want to go to um, your gradient tool, which is going to be behind the paint bucket tool. Just hold it down, select gradient, and then you're going to select any color. I'm just going to do a, uh, like, um, like a yellow to like, um, like a black, like a dark gray. And then click OK. And then you're going to want to hold Shift and drag down so it'll be all straight. Hold up, I think it curved. Alright. What? Oh my god. Whatever. Okay. Alright, so that you'll have this. Just a nice gradient. Now you want to go to Filter, Distort, Wave, and then put in the number of generators. Pull it all the way up. 299 and change this to I think 71 and then change this to 71 also and change this to 31 and change this to 31 so now you have some even lines here now you're going to want to go over to filter distort and polar coordinate coordinates now click OK and then there you go you have a nice starburst effect so you can just add like a picture anyway like around here so um yeah um thanks for watching this video rate comment and uh subscribe